This is the Hello World Podcast, where we talk about habits of success, habits of excellence, entrepreneurship, leadership, learning and development, and outlook that will help us succeed through life. This is Louis Banta, CEO and Chief Trainer of Learning Just Made Better or LJNB. This is Louis Banta and this is episode 12 of the Hello World Podcast where we'll talk about H, Habits of Success. And our guest for today will talk about habits that we need to adopt to succeed in the future of work. Our guest has experienced working in various industries throughout her career, managing human resources from a country to regional and then to global scope. With more than 25 years in human resources, she developed competence in the areas of people operations, talent management, organizational and leadership development, culture and change management, career and succession planning, total rewards, labor relations, and HRIS and analytics. That means end-to-end HR, starting from operational and the strategic HR. And I'm proud of this next line. She was president of PMAP or People Management Association of the Philippines in 2018, the biggest professional association of HR leaders in the Philippines with more than 2,000 corporate members. And I believe She is the youngest to hold such a position. A certified mind gym, DDI facilitator, and trained investors in people or IIT facilitator, she led the transformation of global giant SGS into an IIT accredited company, gold level, from 2011 to 2016, and also made SGS a recipient of Gawad Maestro Award as Organizational Champion for Workplace Learning and Development in 2013. Today, she is the Regional HR Director for Asia Pacific at Dexcom, a leader in transforming diabetes care and management by providing continuous glucose monitoring technology. Wow, so innovative. Helping patients and healthcare professionals better manage diabetes. In 2014 and 2015, she received a citation from CHRO Asia as one of the global, wow, global 100 most talented HR leaders and top 100 influential HR leaders respectively. A certified international HR manager, CIHRM by the American Certification Institute, our guest for today is also a very dear friend, personal acquaintance of mine. We go a long way. We were called classmates in college. We were workmates in projects and have continued to keep in touch through the years. Our guest is none other than Michelle Garcia. Hello, world. Hi, Louis. Uh, Oh, hello, 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 Michelle. Really proud to uh, be with you here. And if I may just share to our listeners, may I share how I call you, how I address you, your nickname. While most of her uh, corporate uh, friends will call her Michelle, her screen name is Michelle. Close friends would call her Shego. Yan yung kanyang college uh, name. But, you know, just so proud of you. I have... Uh, giving you a special uh, place no, in my uh, life. No? And I've always told you, you're my idol, your work ethic, even the way you showed your resiliency in your personal life. And just having read that, your introduction, as an HR leader, I'd say you've really, really gone a long way and proud and humble at the same time, Shego that we're talking about future of work. You've uh, given time and effort to guest in the Hello World uh, podcast. And uh, thank you so much, Louis, for inviting me here. Um, you know, uh, Louis is correct. People close to me call me Shego. And si Louis, I call him Banta. 
Uh, ano na niyan? Uh, lambingan. Uh, oh, so, oh, oh. Yeah, thank you for, for having me here. I'm so happy. I'm humbled, honored uh, to be able to share diba? What, whatever it is that's in my mind regarding uh, future of work. And future of work is something that, that I'm sure, I, I heard you speak about this one way or another, especially mm. with the pandemic that is uh, life-changing. It has, has accelerated a lot of transformation and uh, being one of the top HR leaders, especially in the Philippines, I'm sure that you will talk about future of work globally, but zero in in the local scene. We can start with that. Sige nga. Um, future of work, F-O-W as an acronym, yes. Ano mm-hmm. pa talaga itong future of work na ito, uh, Shegs? Oh, alam mo, tama ka yun. I've been talking about future of work for... for for a long time. I, I remember the first conference I did where I talked about it was in 2017, 2018. That was, you know, two years ago. And up until now, we're, we're talking about it, right? So in, in the context of future of work global, uh, a lot of articles would say that, you know, future will actually be a, a time or a place wherein it will be driven, it will be designed, it will be de- dictated by the consumers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, by the consumers who are after superb, amazing customer experience. And that is what we'll notice, like evolve yung, yung mga products and services, eh? like uh, for example, for music, Spotify, because the consumers, they would like immediate access to music, right? Netflix, so nawala, medyo nawala yung mga businesses on video and even, you know, movies. Kasi people just would like to watch movies. They choose their own movies at their own time in the comfort of their home. Uh, the, the gadgets that we have right now, uh, lagi ko nga sinasabi before, ang, ang, ang telephone is actually designed, invented, so that people can communicate. Diba? Tatawag ka kakamustahin mo yung tao on the other line. That's the purpose of the phone. But nowadays, the phone is actually not being used anymore for calling. <laughs> and I ask you, Louie, di ba? Ikaw ba? Patawag ka pa ba sa phone? Di ba? Para siguro. Ano yung phone? <laughs> <laughs> bihira, bihira. Because the smartphones now are being used to actually access work. Email, mm-hmm. transactions, uh, social media, do other things. Nawala yung original purpose of that particular product. Again, because yun ang gusto ng, ng consumers. Uh, mm-hmm. FB is another example. Uber, Grab is another example. So lahat yun dictated by what consumers expect iba, to experience from a product or from a service. And okay. after, yun din ang nagdidictate ng future of work. Mm-hmm. Because changes in consumer expectations. And we have to remember the profile of the consumer nowadays. Diba? So, mm-hmm. syempre, mga uh, baby boomers, merong Generation X, tayo yan. Tayo yan. Oh. Tayo yan, tayo yan. But majority of the consumers nowadays are the millennials. And then, the Gen Z. Diba? So, mm-hmm. iba din sila. Ibang expectations nila. And, you know, I call them the instant generation. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I have three kids, di ba? Ano yan eh, halong millennia, tsaka Gen Z. Uh, mm-hmm. Marunong magtimpla ng kape. Kasi ang mm-hmm. alam nila, instant or bibilin. Di yan mm-hmm. magluto ng pansit. Pag sinabi, mm-hmm. yung panahon natin, Louie, di ba? Pag sinabi mong pansit, talagang magigisa ka at magluluto ka ng pansit. But nowadays, mm-hmm. uh, generation, kukuha yan instant pansit. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, quick access to almost everything and mm-hmm. most of the time, shortcut way. And, and we will use that now to ano yung nangyayari naman sa workplace because that's the expectation of the customers or the consumers. As an HR practitioner, what I notice is there has been some changes in the way uh, jobs are positioned in organization. Uh, may mga na nag-grow, may mga positions na nag And I see that it's being dictated by two things. One is the kind of work, whether routine or unique type of work. And the other one is whether it's a physical work or a cognitive work. So okay. in my observation, anything that is physical and routine may higher risk of change, meaning higher risk of it being automated, higher risk of 
it being streamlined, higher mm -hmm. being eliminated, right? When you say physical, physical is manual labor? Manual, physical. manual or like for example, some manufacturing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or, or production or administrative mm -hmm. type of work. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, there's a lot of ways to do a specific task that's being done physically, manually, routinely by a person. Ngayon, ino-automate na natin yan. Diba? Mm -hmm. more, any work that is highly cognitive and unique, mm -hmm. yan yung mm -hmm. may risk of change. Meaning, organizations will still require for those competencies. And mm -hmm. therefore, future workforce would, would, would have that capability of they have high cognitive ability, plus at, plus at the same time, major unique in skills. And mm -hmm. not are your you know, computer, computer um, specialists, your um, architects, your engineers, or mm -hmm. mga data scientists, right? Bagong-bago yung term na yan, ano? Dati, nung nagsisimula tayo, wala namang data scientist, ano? Wala, o wala. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only siguro the last four or five years that is mm -hmm. hard Urge. And and ngayon nga, medyo mag-iingat pa tayo because when people say I'm a data scientist, you have to really figure out, are you really a data scientist? Because malakas between a real data scientist and a data analyst, right? Magkaiba yun. Magkaiba. So, may, may ganun siyang um, effect. So, the, the expectations of the consumer, anong mm -hmm. nag niya in terms of the skills needed by the organization? And because Organizations are looking for those skills and capabilities to, to, to meet future demands. Nag-iba na rin yung relationship ng learning and work. Uh, mm -hmm. And in part the business of learning and development. Uh, mm -hmm. Ako, mm -hmm. one is, again, generation natin, Louie. Tayo, yeah. ilang years ba tayo inside the four walls of a school or a university? Mm -hmm. Siguro, ano ba? Six plus Six four. Plus four. For Four. 15 years, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. 15 years. Talagang mm -hmm. from kindergarten hanggang graduate ka ng university, 14, 15 years, you're inside the confines of a university. Hardcore education and learning. But mm -hmm. now, ang dami ng mga open university, online mm -hmm. learning. Uh, mm -hmm. And people now, especially with the K-12, di ba? K-12 is... We are basically saying that once you graduate from high school, you can now actually join organizations, right? And if you want to pursue university degree, medyo optional siya, and you can do other things. Like if you don't mm -hmm. want, you, you take a technical certification and that's fine, right? So, mm -hmm. iba din yung, yung learning environment. Plus, mm -hmm. it and do we. Uh, there are a lot of innovations nowadays when it comes to medicine, right? Kaya ang sabi nila, yung lifespan ng tao nowadays is longer. Diba? Ano ang ano? Ano na ba? Ano na ba ang average life, lifespan ngayon? And how how much longer will it be? Uh, Di ba sabi nila, the average lifespan is 80. Kaya okay. nga, mid, mid, ano, mid life is 40. Diba? Mm -hmm. So, is your average lifespan. But nowadays, if you will notice, that is from 100 years old, you celebrate. But why not? You hear a lot of news, people celebrating their centennial birthday, uh, which, is, which is good. Because we have a lot of innovation in medicine. People nowadays are more conscious about their health and wellness. There are many supplements that help us mm -hmm. become stronger and, and better. And because mm -hmm. of that, may effect din yan sa future of work. Mm -hmm. More and more countries now are rethinking the mandatory retirement age. In fact, some countries doesn't have a retirement age, right? Kasi, in, ako, a HR practitioner, mm -hmm. 65 years old, ima mandatory retirement natin yan sa Philippines because that's the law. However, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people at age 65, hindi eh, pwede pa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the talents, na yung wisdom nila, yung capability nila, they bring so much to the organization, especially when it comes to visioning, strategic thinking, uh, providing context to a lot of things that are sometimes meaningless for, for some people within the organization. So, mm -hmm. 
iba din, may iba yung 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 learning, yung work plus the retirement. So, mm -hmm. I anticipate that in the near future, people will spend less time in school. The workplace become partly the learning environment, but at the same time, the working environment. And the mm -hmm. people will work will be longer. Diba? Mm -hmm. Because be productive even at the age of 70, 75, depending siguro sa industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like for example, you, Louis, do you, do you mm -hmm. ask yourself stopping to train at age 65? Hindi, di ba? Mm -hmm. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Oh, especially, especially now with this setup, no, nakaupo ka lang, di ba? Oh, oh. Tapos technology. Correct. Uh, and I'm sure mag evolve din yung mga learning topics. And, and you know, the more, the more experience, the more insight you have, mas marami kang mm -hmm. contribute sa mga organic. Okay. So, sa akin, those are the three things very important in defining mm -hmm. future. Yung demands ng consumer, yung mm -hmm. impact in terms of what are the capabilities being required by the organization mm -hmm. of that. And lastly, the impact to how people learn and yung, yung years that they are actually will be in the workforce. So, mm -hmm. sa akin, that is the, the future of work. Diba? Wala pa din yung pandemic element. Yeah. Kasi, Wala pa si pandemic? Okay. Kasi mo yan, ko, that's exactly the same, you know, insight I've been sharing in my previous content. Yes, mm -hmm. That was 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. And and now, um, alam mo, I always call nga this this pandemic as the great reset. Um, mm -hmm. what do I call that? Wala eh, the force tayo to change, di ba? Mm -hmm. and, you know, sometimes sometimes it's minsan napapangiti ako. And of course, no offense to those people, mm -hmm. of course, us included, uh, who are experiencing challenges because of this pandemic. Pero minsan mm -hmm. napapangiti ako from, from a professional perspective uh, because paulit-ulit natin sinasabi at eh, buka world, uh, disruptive. Change yeah. is the only thing that's constant, di ba? Oo, di ba? Mm -hmm. Tapos laging sasabihin is, oo, pero you know, uh, work from home, oo, siguro konti, but not everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. Laptop for all employees, hmm, medyo mahal. Siguro sa extent, but not everyone. Everybody should still have desktops in the office. And that's basic, di ba? Basic example. Pero ngayon, di ba, after one week, nung in-announce, enhanced community quarantine, hala ka. Mm -hmm. okay. One week, lahat ng desktop na pauwi namin sa mga employees. And, and now, after three, four months, we've replaced some of them from desktop to laptops. And, and 100% now, ba kayo? 100% work from home? When, Your when, workforce? Hindi. About mga 90%. So we still have about 10% on site. But only because we decided to open the site for people who are having issues with connectivity. Right? Kasi hindi lahat ng areas, and you know, yan yung sinasabi ko minsan na ang future of work, minsan iba sa ibang bansa, iba sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as basic as internet connectivity is a challenge, di ba? So, we opened our site for, you know, the, the few people who are having challenges working from home kasi wala silang connectivity or maybe their situation mm -hmm. place na medyo hindi maganda yung signal or mm -hmm. maybe yung bandwidth that they have is not enough to do the kind of work that they needed to do. So we have about 10% of our employees uh, working on site. Of course, voluntary from, from their mm -hmm. But, every, but, but majority, judging by the 90% who are working from home, mm -hmm. is it really safe to assume? Uh, but I have this anecdotal experience from people that it works for me, I'm okay, I like it because of the work-life blend. Would you say that work, from home, I've also seen a lot of articles. Hmm. Pero feeling mo dito sa Pilipinas, it's here to stay, you work from home. Al alam mo, tricky yung question na yan. I actually delivered a talk. Uh, working mm -hmm. home. Working from a Filipino home. Mm -hmm. Tipo, mm -hmm. uh, again, siguro depende sa trabaho, depende mm -hmm. sa home environment. Because a typical mm -hmm. Filipino home, open floor tayo, eh, di ba? Sa bahay, yes. Yeah. Tama. Ang sala ko sa kwarto, minsan iisa lang yan. <laughs> diba? At sa bahay, kasama mo talaga relatives. Diba? Not only mm -hmm. 
talagang buong pamilya. And sometimes inside the home, one one room is one family. So kung may tatlo kang kwarto, tatlong pamilya yan. So it's a compound, right? Uh, and then if, if ang nature ng work mo needs concentration, needs quiet time, needs needs uh, privacy because maybe your confidential data. Uh, mm-hmm. Medyo tricky working from home. Uh, okay. Employees uh, of ours, they manage to actually resolve that by making sure that they have a dedicated corner, dedicated mm-hmm. space. Uh, we even actually provided them chairs and tables. Uh, we allow wow. them first. Kasi nga, the objective is, all right, you know, uh, configure your home so that it will be suitable to, to, to your work. That's a lot of logistics, no? I can, I can imagine. No? Uh, ano yung... sila? Um, what we did was we allowed them to order it on their own. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Uh, kasi nga, medyo logistically challenging pag kami pa yung nag-order. So we allowed them to buy their own chairs, furniture, anything they need uh, mm-hmm. to make their uh, home office more mm-hmm. suitable. Uh, for them. So, syempre, makeup. Uh, and nakakatuwa kasi makikita mo din yung generation. Mga gaming mm-hmm. nila eh. <laughs> gaming chair na may pilaw pa. But we uh-huh. said if that's what will help them become comfortable working from home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, for some people, it works. For some people, it's effective. For some people, they love it. Okay. Uh, pero merong iba na parang they still prefer on some days, they go to the mm-hmm. office. Some days they work from home. Uh, mm-hmm. Yung iba na they really are looking forward to going back to the office full time. Pero majority, I think, they, they find it effective uh, and they like working from home. Oh, alam majority. Mo, alam mo, interesting. Kasi mm-hmm. yung traffic. So it's the commute. Walang traffic. Because they, they feel like the hours they spend on traffic now they're able to spend doing something else with family for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, nakakapagtanim sila mga nagtanim dito ang aming So, interesting because it, yes. it's actually confirmed that people when given the choice would rather do something purposeful, something that they're passionate about as individuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, like this work from home arrangement has given them that opportunity kasi mm-hmm. nagkaroon extra so, so work from home is here to stay I think so I think for pandemic I could assume also organizations medyo may apprehension ka uh, pero ngayon I think organizations would probably even say na they will have higher percentage of employees working from home even after pandemic Mm-hmm. So yung mga nababasa ko sa sa uh, magbansa na tech company specifically are now allowing the entire workforce to work from home or at least choose whether they want to go to the office. Na, that mm-hmm. that trend will also be applicable in the Philippines. I think so. I think so. Pero may challenge. Um, because mm-hmm. sa akin kasi, and, and this is the, the, I always tell people this eh, but Future of work is not just about embracing technology or innovation or ways of doing work. Like, for example, ito, remote work or working from home. It, it, it requires a change in mindset, especially for leaders. Kasi imagine mo, Louie, kung yung mga tao nag-work from home na sila, and the leader is still the type of person na micromanager ang tagi niyang hat na si Paul. Gusto niya clock in, clock out, you know, employees. So, mm-hmm. Maybe that will work, but I feel and I think when people are already working from home, it's no longer usapang oras. It's already mm-hmm. usapang output tayo dito. Diba? It doesn't matter how short or how long you work for as mm-hmm. long as ever the results and the expectations are met, then we're good, right? Mm-hmm. So, in mindset is one. So that's one challenge. Another challenge, mm-hmm. our labor law, our labor law is not designed to support this new future of work arrangement. Mm-hmm. For example, is it just us or other countries more progressive in terms of labor laws uh, in relation to work at home? I, I, I'm not really sure because I didn't know that we are in labor law. Okay. Here in the Philippines, as 
simple as work hours. Mm -hmm. For example, overtime. Diba? Overtime mm -hmm. is the amount that you pay when people uh, render extra work beyond eight hours. Mm -hmm. So, alam mo ngayon, Louis, ang daming employees, they would, they, they would prefer to offset. Yung tipo, mm -hmm. ay, magta-10 hours ako, but tomorrow, mm -hmm. I will only render six kasi I have something else to do. Okay ba yun? Mm -hmm. Now, kung, kung maganda yung relationship ng employee and ng supervisor, probably mag-iisa. Mm -hmm. Sige, bahala ka na. Offset mo na lang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diba? Kasi nga, it's the output that counts. The output, right? Mm -hmm. The supervisor or the manager is a type of person na doesn't really matter uh, mm -hmm. if supportive of that extracurricular activities of the employee mm -hmm. but output mm -hmm. Then well and good. But the law is clear. Offsetting is not allowed. So, nagkakaroon ngayon ng, ng challenge for organizations who are very, very compliant. Hindi po Sorry, way. to clarify that, as per the law, offsetting is not allowed. Not allowed. Okay. For, ano, for, for rank and file. For rank and file. Sige lang naman ang covered ng, ano, eh, ng labor file. code. However, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, ang sinasabi kasi ng batas is uh, only managerial, supervisory and managerial employees are exempted diba, from overtime pay. And there's a yes. definition kung sino ang supervisor at sino ang manager. So hindi yan by title. Ha? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a labor uh, law. Ang sinasabi niya dyan is yung position mo will be considered supervisory or managerial if oh, may mga criteria yan. You make mm -hmm. response, kasama ka sa talagang you're, you're part of the decision making for hiring, firing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Form, and, and things like that. Now, mm -hmm. minsan, sa atin, title supervisor, pero pag tinignan mo yung trabaho, hindi ganun. Mm -hmm. So, that means, hindi sila kasama dun sa exemption. Kasama mm -hmm. pa entitled sa overtime. So, medyo okay. Okay. So, may konting, you need to really assess and review very mm -hmm. But going back to the point is, you know, mm -hmm. the future of work is, is not only about embracing a specific technology, innovation. It has to have a change in mindset and, and from a Siburo country or government, mm -hmm. our laws and our programs should also be there supportive of this future of work. Mm -hmm. So everything has to change and um and be aligned. No, so soon it dapat yung mga programa sa kaya yung labor laws. Dapat yung ating mga batas, yung ating mga is even the programs, the strategies. This should all enablers, di ba? To think organizations future ready. Kapag ka natin ine enable yung pagiging future ready ng isang organization, even if motivation to do so. Para mm -hmm. sa point na okay, mag-slow down eh kasi magkakaroon ka ng barriers. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, ako, I, minsan naisip ko na I hope this this thing that we are experiencing because of the pandemic will wake up a lot of our, you know, uh, leaders, uh, mm -hmm. government, in, in organizations, uh, in other communities to realize na, okay, This is this is the new normal, di ba? Uh, and hindi pa to yung next normal. Ha? Meron kasi akong iniisip na parang post-COVID, di ba? Post, mm -hmm. Babalik pa ba tayo dun sa dati? Malamang hindi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At to stay in this kind of arrangement, malamang hindi rin, di ba? Yes. Kasi yung mga tao gusto nang lumabas eh. Di ba? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But they don't wanna go back to the, to the organization. So, feeling mm -hmm. ko it's a mix. So, meron pang mm -hmm. next normal, di ba? Okay. So, may new normal, ito yun ngayon. May next normal. Palagay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. So, wala, di ba? It's exciting siya because there's there's a lot of things that will happen and will change mm -hmm. and hopefully, eventually, will make things better. Uh, mm -hmm. Yun nga ta, right now, medyo nandun tayo sa sitwasyon na, you know, it's it's sad, it's challenging. Uh, but hopefully vaccines will be available soon and we will be able mm -hmm. to pick up and you know get back up and you know uh, mm -hmm. survive, diba? survive this phase in our in our generation. So whether well, with or without the pandemic, 
there's already that expected change in work mm-hmm. and further compounded by or accelerated by uh, COVID. No? Yeah. Pero ako kasi sinabi kanina eh, yung interesting na unique and thinking work, is that how you you position it? Cognitive work, no? Work, yeah. So may unique and cognitive work, may physical and routinary work. Yeah. There's a lot of physical and routinary work in our workforce today. Yes. And that makes Philippines quite different when it comes to future of work. Because mm-hmm. most progressive countries, siguro konti na yung physical routine because likely they were able to automate it or uh, meron na silang ibang model in who's doing that kind of work for them and therefore mm-hmm. they focus on the more innovative aspects of their products and services, right? Mm-hmm. But countries like Philippines, at, at walang masama doon, right? If this is our contribution to the world, then mm-hmm. okay lang, di ba? Um, mm-hmm. A lot of the work that we have here is quite uh, routinary. Uh, a lot of the work that we have here is still very physical, di ba? Mm-hmm. But that's fine. Di ba? That, that's fine because I think that those are the, the, the things na baka ayaw gawin ng iba, mm-hmm. ibang countries. And if okay. we are very proactive as a country, dapat, dapat na-analyze natin yun at nare-ready natin yung workforce natin na tayo ang mm-hmm. paanin. An example would be, for instance, agriculture. Although marami na recommendations sa agriculture, ha? <laughs> marami, marami na rin. But, you know, let, let's, let's say to the, uh, you know, average siguro. Agriculture is one. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's not. Diba? Even in our own country, parang hindi natin naalagaan yung agriculture. Would you imagine mm-hmm. nag-i-import tayo? Uh, mm-hmm. Nag-rise, no? Nag-rise, no? Nag-rise, no? Nag-rise, no? Nag-rise, no? in resources dito sa Philippines. Iri is here in the Philippines, di ba? Parang mm-hmm. support. And nandito ang mga dalubhasa, di ba? Dito sila, mm-hmm. nag, sila nag-experiment. At pag nakuha nila yung tamang timpla ng experiment, dadali nila sa kanilang bansa. Mm-hmm. At, mm-hmm. Which, which mm-hmm. makes me think, bakit, bakit ganun, di ba? So, mm-hmm. think ko, meron pa rin opportunity ang, ang Philippines uh, in terms of uh, para siyang sustainable uh, live within the, the country na less mm-hmm. technological innovations. And that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ang siguro nakikita lang natin dyan ngayon is ano kaya ang support ang nakukuha nila uh, from, mm-hmm. uh, or from you know um, uh, the government units. Kasi mm-hmm. pagka, pagka nasuportahan nyo, lalo na ngayon, di ba, maraming bumabalik sa kanika nilang mga pulinsya. Yes. Ang tanong is, anong trabaho ang ginagawa nila pag bumabalik mm-hmm. sila sa probinsya? Hindi ka naman mm-hmm. magsabi ng future of work pag ikaw ay mm-hmm. bumabalik sa probinsya. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang mm-hmm. talagang, ano pa rin, anong kakainin mo today? Correct. Anong ano? available opportunities no, sa probinsya? Oo, diba? mm-hmm. ang kakit ang aral ng mga bata. Yan ang pinakamahal. Mm-hmm. Yan, diba? Mm-hmm. Ay, I hope that even physical and routine opportunities, you will be able to. Mm-hmm. Okay. But agriculture is really critical. No? It's physical, it's routine, but uh, it uh, provides for uh, food supply. No? Mm-hmm. Now, for, for the usual uh, corporate uh, setup, pag physical at routine ng trabaho mo, this will be the most likely targets of automation. It, diba? Process uh, automation. Uh, if the organization is investing to automate. Because remember, sa Philippines, marami din tayong tinatawag na MSEs, micro okay. and small enterprises. So, okay. mga micro and small enterprises, mm-hmm. sometimes, uh, based sa aking observations, uh, when I visit you know, different provinces, uh, mm-hmm. to mark team up advocacy, iba pa mm-hmm. Ay ba ang priority nila? Um, yes, may konting technological innovations or advancement. Pero mm-hmm. ita ang focus. Um, what I notice is for most uh, MSEs, Filipino organizations, mm-hmm. uh, ano pa rin sila, it's really more on the practical side of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or of helping 
the mm -hmm. employees uh, have earned of living. Uh, mm -hmm. no conventional, traditional pa rin yung delivery of services. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. yung market pa rin nila, and again, sabi natin, consumer-driven, di ba? Ang market, mm -hmm. either nandun sa mga probinsya, or mm -hmm. kuman sa Metro Manila, these are your, uh, siguro, uh, consumers na uh, sanay pa rin sila dun sa conventional way of... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, dapat ba, if I'm doing... Uh, physical work and routinary work, I should already think of ways by which I can move to doing more cognitive, what's the other one, more unique uh, work. Should that be the focus or uh, the future thinking of some organizations? Some organizations, some individuals, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Pero may iba din kasing ano, Louis, di ba? Parang iba-iba din siguro. Like for example, not everybody would would be interested to, to I don't know, to study or to learn technology. Uh, parang they're happy. May mga taong ganun, di ba? Parang I'm happy, mm -hmm. I'm happy doing yes. this. My joy yes. and source of happiness. So that, that's also mm -hmm. fine. Ako kasi feeling ko, more than the skill itself, it's the mindset. Diba? If, if okay. your attitude and your mindset is open to adapting to the changes happening in your environment, kahit hindi ka mm -hmm. naka technological skills, pero yung mindset mo is you're open to new learning, meron mm -hmm. siguro opportunity for you, right? Mm -hmm. For example, nowadays, um, puma, puma po na maluki, ang dami ngayon nagbubog in terms of uh, health and wellness opportunities. Okay. Uh, ang dami ngayon nagbo-boom na opportunities for those people who nas into hobbies as a treatment or therapy for, for mental health. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, if you're the type of person na you're not on the technological side, uh, medyo nandito ka sa arts uh, and, and, you know, creating something because, you know, you have a uh, passion for it, then pwede mm -hmm. on yung, yung, yung shift ng no career or ng no opportunity. Okay. But only okay. people who has a, an open mind at alam at naiintindihan nila na, okay, I need to learn something new so that I'll be able to contribute to the future scenario of work. Or I'll be able to evolve myself uh, to, the, to the future of work. Yung highly cognitive unique, ano kasi yan eh, hindi lang yan technology na computer engineering, kasama din daw mm -hmm. yung arts. Uh, like for example, music. Diba? Mm -hmm. Music. Because you create uh, diba, something that doesn't exist. Exactly. Mm -hmm. diba? So it's mm -hmm. difficult to automate. Although may mga konti na, diba? but that they say mm -hmm. that, that humans create uh, mm -hmm. art diba? and, and things like that. Yan yung medyo will, will likely stay. Uh, in, in. So it's, it's valid to feel that what I'm doing right now might be obsolete in the future. Is it? So, lahat naman yan. Mm -hmm. so, ang ang mm -hmm. kasi siguro is how, when will it be obsolete, right? Mm -hmm. uh, kasi titignan mo, Louis, like for example, what you're doing now, di ba? you're into learning and development and you've been doing mm -hmm. that side. Nag-iiba ka lang ng platform. Di ba? Okay. But, but your mission and your purpose, which is to mm -hmm. help people grow, help people mm -hmm. develop, help transform people to, you know, maybe a different level of competency the names mm -hmm. be. so organizations will now focus more on purpose and mission yung mm -hmm. delivery yung delivery will probably be the ones that will change whether mm -hmm. yung, through technology through online or whatever other means but the purpose mm -hmm. and normally yun yung nakikita ko na nakikip kinita okay? mm -hmm. so parang kailangan you are able to see in whatever profession, career, or work, or role you are in, how this will really evolve and change. And you take the steps to, ano, no, to, um, to adapt to it. I, I like what you, uh, how you refer to what I'm doing. Dati, Manila paper lang yan. Di ba? Tapos may mga writing, may mga nakatupi pa. And oh. then there's the blackboard to whiteboard. There's the overhead projector. Mm -hmm. Acetate. 
Mm-hmm. Tapos ngayon na nawala ni acetate kasi you can present from laptop to your LCD. Right. Ngayon, projector business, who's, who's buying a projector now? Oh. So, This is this is uh, one way to actually deliver a learning experience, mm-hmm. right? Uh, okay. And and for for, yeah. for trainers like you, medyo ibang skill din, di ba? Iba ang iba ang pag-train or iba yung deliver mm-hmm. experience when you're doing it online by versus live. So mm-hmm. a kind of person who's very adaptable, open yung yung attitude mo and mindset mo. Malamang mm-hmm. ina ngayon, and I see you doing that, di ba? So, parang ang mm-hmm. yung adoption. And normally, yun yung mga medyo nag- nagsusurvive. And these are, again, I, I, I think combinations of different competencies uh, mm-hmm. from, from a person, from having agile thinking, uh, mm-hmm. in types of complexity, yung creativity mm-hmm. and innovation, um, mm-hmm. having a design mindset is also mm-hmm. a competency, being data-driven is also a competency, diversity, mm-hmm. proficiency, because once you develop and deliver things online, hindi mo na makontrol, di ba? Like, ngayon, you can do program and your audience can be coming from different parts of the world. Agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, diversity, proficiency, very critical. Learning mm-hmm. on the fly is another competency that is also very critical because hindi mm-hmm. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na sandali, aralin ko muna paano ang gamitin ng Zoom para magamit ko siya. Mm-hmm. Hindi eh. Kasi meron na to invite na sa'yo whether you've used it or not, you have to learn to use it. Diba? Uh, so learning on the fly and yung mga medyo softer side of competencies, one, sense making. For leaders, okay. I think very, very important to have that competency. And I've are, heard of sense making. I read of that. I just recently read that. No, ano pa talaga yung sense making na yan? What does it entail leaders uh, to do? It, it's the ability of leaders to see how things are connected, and the ability to determine the deeper meaning of things as they happen inside the organization, and the ability to explain it well to the employees. Right? Mm-hmm. All about making people understand why things are happening in a certain way. At hindi siya yung why na more on business sounding like. But it's really, again, why in terms of how it's linked to the purpose and mission of the organization. And it mm-hmm. requires a very influential leader with great character, particularly integrity, for people mm-hmm. to and for people to say na oo, oh, oh, he's, he's helping put a lot of good sense to whatever it is that I'm experiencing as an employee. So, mm-hmm. tingin ko, yung competencies na yun, at hindi mga bago yun, di ba? If you yes. look at Louis, and then you've been doing a lot of leadership development programs, pare-pareho lang, di ba? Siguro mm-hmm. may mm-hmm. change lang sa ranking, or may mm-hmm. lang sa, sa definition, but it's the same. Now, if if I will be asked, oh, ano yung pinaka-critical dyan? Um, o oh, wala pang pandemic, I would always say dalawa. One is the agility and innovation. Okay. Agility okay. is ability to efficiently and effectively adapt to change faster mm-hmm. and faster than ever before while keeping the same level of productivity. Yung tipo, mm-hmm. change ka, nagka-transform ka, pero yung productivity mo, consistent, hindi pwedeng, mm-hmm. ay, yung curve, bumaba, bumaba sa mm-hmm. glim. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, parang hindi siya acceptable, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. You're expected to, to, to adapt, but you're also expected to maintain certain uh, level. Of Regardless of the situation, eh, you need to deliver. Mm-hmm. And then innovation is the ability to create change. Sabi ko nga, mm-hmm. the days that people are expected to manage change. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. People are expected to manage change and create change. Tayo mismo ang gumagawa ng change because if you are not innovative, mapag-iiwanan ka talaga. Right? Mm-hmm. So, ang kalakip niyan is yung, di ba sabi nila, oh, always think outside the box. Like yung sabi na ko, di na yan uso, remove the box. <laughs> Kasi, mm-hmm. box actually limits you, di ba? It limits your mm-hmm. imagination. The box is always also tied to a certain perception that you have. Yes. So, totally remove the box. Because nowadays, 
wala, it's an open, you know, open everything type mga harap ka and everything mm-hmm. possible, right? Um, but here comes COVID. Here comes the pandemic. And, and we mm-hmm. ask, yun pa rin ba yung competencies required mm-hmm. for leaders? Uh, I, I, and, and I would say, uh, yes, it's, it's still the same. Siguro ang naiba lang is the intent and the mm-hmm. speed which you make it work mm-hmm. may kakaiba. Because nowadays, people are expected to apply those competencies faster and okay. people are expected to apply those competencies answering the question, why are you doing it? Why is mm-hmm. your intention? Mm-hmm. Ano yung intention mo as a leader? Mm-hmm. And dito ko mm-hmm. talabas yung lately I've noticed and I don't know if you've heard about it, compassionate leadership. Mm-hmm. Dati kasi innovative leadership. Ngayon, yes. or agile leadership. Ngayon, compassionate leadership. Mm-hmm. You're expected as leaders to be agile, to be innovative, but at the same time, because of the circumstances, to be compassionate to our people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's not an easy balance. Huh? It's yes. not an easy balance, especially now that the economy is seriously impacted by the pandemic. Right? So, a lot of courage for leaders to really decide what's best and what's right, mm-hmm. both for the organization and both sa, sa, sa tao, sa people. And to mm-hmm. me, that's, that's, that's the, siguro one of the most important competency mm-hmm. that's leading it. Mm-hmm. Diba? Especially Filipino leaders. You know, mm-hmm. you front the reality head on. Ito na eh. This is now the, the reality. This is now the new mm-hmm. norm. Hindi na tayo babalik dun sa dati. Mm-hmm. Diba? And therefore, we should now conclude the planning and the talking. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang, let's just take through action. Right? Mm-hmm. We never go back to how it was before. So we must yeah. have brave will and determination to take the optimistic leap out of our comfort zone as leaders mm-hmm. a country diba? and, and say that this is the new normal this is it we will change and we will now take real action so that we will mm-hmm. be able the Filipino talents ready for the future so mm-hmm. sa akin, uh, same competencies pero again the intent and, mm-hmm. and plus the courage uh, is the additional effort you you gave us uh, highlights of how you'd like to describe the future of work, especially in the Philippine context. You also already mentioned competencies. Is it safe to say that these are also the habits that people need to succeed in the future of work, the habit of adaptability, the habit of innovation? And for leaders, compassion needs to be part of the habit. Yeah, mm, definitely, definitely. And, you know, Minsan, iniisip ko nga, bago din ba yun, compassionate leadership? Kasi madami naman ang nagsasabi before people first, di ba? Mm-hmm. You know, lalo na sa Philippines, yung culture of malasakit, lalo yeah. naman yan. So, siguro hindi rin siya totally new, pero mm-hmm. parang added layer of compassion. Mm-hmm. Parang, mm-hmm. you have to be extra um, ano ba, mindful, extra sensitive, mm-hmm. Ang mm-hmm. um, and, and I think that somehow siguro it's easier for us in the Philippines kasi malasakit talaga is part of our culture. Mm-hmm. I compare it with other countries. Ha. Mas ano mm-hmm. tayo mapag, mapag-alaga, mapagbigay. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, those are I think the habits. Um, pwede rin kasi siyang ano, um, I, I also have this term Para siyang model, and I call it the hat model. Uh, hat mag- as in hat? Hat, oo. Oh, hat, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mat, agile, and uh, being, being trustworthy. Diba? Mm-hmm. Hat is mm-hmm. pagiging makatao. Diba? Um, agile is pagiging maagap. Mm-hmm. And yung, yung trustworthy is pagiging matapat. Diba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So those are also habits that, that mm-hmm. you place if we want to succeed in the future. Right? Again, let's always think about the welfare of our employees. Maging makatao. Mm-hmm. 
let's uh, mm-hmm. also take good care of our people because at the end of the mm-hmm. day, everybody will have access to the same technology. Mm-hmm. tayo sa delivery of customer experience, which is very mm-hmm. important, right? So take mm-hmm. care of people because that's the right thing to do and they're the ones who will deliver the experience. Mm-hmm. The next one is agility, pagiging maagak, diba? Okay. So and speed is the name of the game. Uh, we have to be able to adapt very quickly. We need to be able to show that, you know, kaya natin sumabay, diba? Sa, sa agos ng, ng buhay or ng uh, mm-hmm. environment is changing. Uh, because dun tayo makakakuha ng opportunity so that we'll be able to survive as an organization. Yes. And then the last one is uh, pagiging matapat. Integrity as a leader is still very, very important. Um, mm-hmm. Madaling sabihin, but you know, part of integrity kasi is honest and open communication. If there mm-hmm. are things that you need to tell your employees, even if alam natin mahirap siyang sabihin, mm-hmm. let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. people appreciate an honest leader who's very open and transparent when it comes to communication. And, mm-hmm. and share with people, bakit naging ganun yung decisions nila? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Ganito ang strategy. But ganito ang mm-hmm. nating gawin. Uh, people mm-hmm. do that. And, and that's how you build trust also. Diba? When you communicate mm-hmm. with sincerity, with honesty, and with transparency. So, yun, human, agile, and trustworthy. Mm-hmm. Should I call that the Michelle Garcia hat uh, model or framework? May ano ka na ba dyan? Copyright ka na ba dyan? Wala. Or, hindi ako mahilig sa dun eh. Ano, ako, okay. and I think you know this, wala lang. May isang mm-hmm. pinaiisip ko. So, you share it. Uh-oh. Okay. It now brings me to, you stimulated the question in my head. Human, but then trustworthy. And trustworthy means being open and honest. Mm. And then compassion. But if there are performance issues, especially during this time of pandemic, when they expect people to really be productive and to have malasakit, parang ang hirap i-balance nun, di ba? How will I call out somebody for a performance? A, a, a critical performance issue, recurring poor performance, mm. a compassionate daw. Di ba ah. dapat makatao? Paano? Pa, paano if you really need to act on a performance issue, especially during this time of pandemic? No? Baka mamaya letting go of an employee may be the most inhumane ano, uh, thing that a leader is perceived to be doing. How do you reconcile that? We, first, we have to, again, be clear in the definitions. Being mm-hmm. compassionate is not the same as pababayaan mo na lang. In being honest and truthful and being people-centric doesn't mean, sige, kung ano yung makakabuti sa employee, okay na lang. Mm-hmm. That, that's not what it means, di ba? What it means is that when you reach the point where you need to make a difficult, tough decision, you mm-hmm. take, you still do it as a leader, but you do mm-hmm. it the right And what's the mm-hmm. right Number one, siguro bago mo desisyonan, tanongin mo yung sarili mo, na-coach ko ba tong tao? Mm-hmm. Ba niya, was I honest to, that, to this person at alam ba niya na meron kaming performance issue? Did, did I give this person the chance to improve and develop sinuportahan ko ba yung development niya? Binigyan ko ba siya ng feedback na, all right, ito ang ating, siguro, yung iba would call it improvement plan, performance improvement plan. Mm-hmm. In that process, right? So, tayo bilang leader, kapag nasagot natin sa sarili natin na, oo, nagawa ko ang lahat ng iyo. And still, there's the performance issue. Mm-hmm. But the time that you need to make that decision, kausapin pa din ng tama yung tao. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, a very, in a very respectful way na hindi naman masisira ang kanyang self-esteem. Okay. Okay. So, okay. still, that tough decision will be made, will be delivered in the right way. So, wala mm-hmm. na mm-hmm. siya Lalo na ngayon, mahirap talaga ang business and some organizations would, would probably uh, go through some retrenchment, diba? uh, redundancy, or, or, or mm-hmm. other, um, you know, um, activities that will help save their organizations for further financial losses. 
So, mm-hmm. ako as HR, you know, yan ang pinaka mahirap na ginagawa. But I always mm-hmm. tell, tell my colleagues na, na naggawa ko na yan in, in my previous organization, in my previous experience, several times. Mm-hmm. Uh, at alam ko na each time I do it the right way, yung tipo mm-hmm. effective ang process, hindi mm-hmm. tayo personal, hindi tayo namili kasi ayaw siya mm-hmm. ng post or whatever is mm-hmm. mm-hmm. For as long as clear ang conscience mo that you, you are very, very objective in the selection process and you're very truthful kung bakit mm-hmm. mo yun, again, the intent, di ba? Makakatulog ka na mahindi ka doon. Kasi alam mo, so, that's mm-hmm. part of work, you've done it the right way at wala kang inagrad yan. So, mm-hmm. okay, that's still part of compassionate leadership. Kasi mm-hmm. kung hindi ka it, bali wala sa yun, di ba? You mm-hmm. will do decisions because you want to save the business. Good. But compassionately, Good. would always likely do that as a last resort. Mm-hmm. Probably, mm-hmm. marami na siyang ginawa bago siya umabot sa punto. So, it's very it's very easy to ano no to misconstrue or misinterpret compassion as mm-hmm. relaxing even in the midst of performance issues. Mm-hmm. And thank you for correcting that no. It's also in the way by which uh, you know a this a tough decision can be implemented. Yeah. HR na HR talaga yan ano. Yan topic mo. Yeah. Habits. Meron ka pa bang pahabol? Yung dandan tayo sa habit, habit of agility kahit na lang being human habit of agility and habits to really increase the trust especially if you are a leader and i know that goes both ways to the Siguro typical ba, employee filipino oh, employee in typical ano typical person siguro um mm-hmm. ako kasi parang di ba may sinasabi tayo na, na you cannot give what you do not have di ba okay so tayo Uh, as individual uh, person, di ba? I think it's very important na mahalin natin yung sarili natin. We take care mm-hmm. of ourselves. Uh, we, we learn, we, we, we train ourselves, and we do things beyond work, di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, because ang, ang paniniwala ko dyan is kapag ikaw as a person is buo ka and, and hindi lang siya, hindi mo lang dinidevelop yung sarili mo because of certain skills needed for work but you also develop mm-hmm. skills you need for life diba? uh, you do things other hobbies that is outside the work somehow yung iyong pagkatao yung iyong uh, in total well-being mo as a person must stronger and when you have a stronger total sense of well-being yung iyong position also is higher And therefore, maibabalik mo yan at maibibigay mo yan sa either work or other advocate mm-hmm. that you're doing. So, mm-hmm. replenish dapat natin yung energy na minsan nawawala kasi sobrang busy tayo sa trabaho, busy tayo mm-hmm. sa mga advocacies na meron tayo. We have to replenish that so that we can give. Diba? And um, ako lagi ako tinatanong, Michelle, ba't ba ano, lagi ka mga nasa webinar, webinar? <laughs> uh, or or I, I always... For some reason, honestly, alam mo, ayokong nagbibigay ng ito. Kasi, nakaka-nervyos, di ba? Uh-huh. O, na- pero nakaka-nervyos. Kaya, di ba, tinanong ka, talagang yan ang katanong mo? Kasi, casual. Uh-huh. May mga slides ba? Sabi mo, may slides pa, wala, no? Oo, uh-huh. kasi, ayoko nang masyadong, alam mo, ayoko nang masyadong. Formal. Word, uh, formal. Uh-huh. And notice, lahat po, ina-accept ko na to is only when they will tell me na it's my experience at I will share. Uh, uh-huh. Because feeling ko, it's very important for me to be authentic when I talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, ayoko mm-hmm. pretend na alam ko yung mga ganitong framework, ganitong model. Yes, yes. Hindi ako yun. Uh, I mm-hmm. talk about sharing experiences, sharing observations. And they might be wrong. Huh? They might be wrong. So, gamer po, hindi po ako expert, hindi po ako <laughs> an author or whatever. But these are my observations as an HR person who's been doing this for the last 25 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero ako talagang na-observe ko, Louis, When, when you have an outlet to help others mm-hmm. uh, anyway, and, and for me, outlet ko yung nagbibigay ako ng talks. Kasi feeling ko, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm giving back to the profession who has been very, very good to me. Uh, mm-hmm. Hopefully, may natututunan yung mga ibang HR na nakikinig. Mm-hmm. 
akin. Uh, and again, it's up to them to choose, di ba? Kung ano yung pipiliin nilang okay or hindi. Kasi kanya, What kanya, is adaptable, no? Or uh, applicable to their situation. Oo. Mm-hmm. Oh, useful for them. What's meaningful for them. So, okay lang mm-hmm. yun. So, for me, mm-hmm. my way of giving back. Kasi, mm-hmm. sa akin, that's my way also to somehow replenish the mm-hmm. energy. So, sa akin, I think the habit of taking good care of yourself uh, mm-hmm. and make sure that you have a balanced total well-being is mm-hmm. very good. That's a very good reminder to me, no? You know, being able to... Oh, but they were diba? all... Uh, uh, oh, oh, so... <laughs> Kaya tama, tama. Right? It's a very good reminder to everybody, especially during this time of crisis, no? Mm-hmm. Some are on panic mode. Alam mo, pag nagpa-panic ka, there's a tendency to do more, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Balance lang. You know, I, I really value the experience that you bring in. Imagine your cross-industry experience, your, the roles that you've been to, regional and uh, global. At uh, malaking bagay talaga yung being uh, head of PMAP. Also, you also have the pulse no? of uh, people management or HR in the Philippines. And as we have also this touched on before we started this podcast, sabi mo, yung ibang feature for frameworks na applicable globally, iba dun sa meron tayo dito. So thank you for bringing that Filipino perspective. Uh, thank you for bringing that uh, feature of work that is more relevant to us here in the Philippines. Alam mo naman yung mga ibang trends may take time to uh, arrive here or the applications will really be uh, different. Michelle, Shego, thank you so much for your time and the uh, talent shared in the Hello World Posse. Isa kong bating nga dyan, Hello World ulit. Maraming maraming salamat, Louis, and Hello World! This is Louis Banta of LJMB. Thank you for watching my video. To watch more videos like this, click subscribe and hit the bell icon below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up comment down below and share it to others.